So now we're going to look at monitoring systems, an important aspect of what's going on in various systems and are they working correctly. So monitoring tools are pretty important for production environments. You can't really have a complex production environment without some kind of monitoring tool. And they will monitor various components, whether it be a service switches or applications or services. So the idea is that when something goes wrong, it'll generate an alert and then it'll also generate another alert when the problem has been solved. So we're going to look at several tools. One of them is Nagios, the first one. Nagios is an open source monitoring tool. It uh, looks at network services and it can monitor things like CPU usage and other resources like disks and, and looks at the log files. It has scripts which are plugged into it which can be written in any popular scripting language. So you just basically write a plug-in script and it will do a certain monitoring job. Now Nagios has a number of agents which have got various names which are typically acronyms. So there's a Nagios Remote Plugin Executor. It's basically an agent which allows scripts to be run on remote machines. It's often used for monitoring resources like CPU and disk usage and who's logged in at the time. So what happens is that on each of the remote machines, you have the, the agent running and it's the, um, the Nagios pulls the agent on each of the remote machines which causes it to execute the various scripts and uh, get information from them. This, the Nagios Remote Data Processor is another agent which allows you to use different protocols like HTTP and News XML to transfer information across to the various agents. It's just another component of the Nagios system. There's also the NS Client++ which is for Windows machines. It's typically used for monitoring resources like CPU and disk. And again, it does a polling operation. Nagios polls the agent on a particular port number for events. So another monitoring tool is Genios. This is fairly sophisticated. It's a basically a three-tier architecture, and you've got these three different layers inside it. So you've got the instrumentation layer, which is the bottom layer really, and you've got these things called net probes. And these are agents which sit on the monitored system components and reports back to the central service. You've got then um, an analysis and consolidation layer, which enables it the net pros to be deployed and for the data to be processed. And then you've basically got a visualization layer, which is a front end. These are called active consoles. So you can see the status of the environment and see what's going on at the moment, see if there are any current alerts undergoing. So this kind of gives you the genius architecture. You've got the net probes at the bottom. They're actually the instrumentation. They're sitting on the actual applications that are running, monitoring the applications by how it means they're actually implemented. Then each of those is grouped together and managed by one of these gateways, which has a number of um, rules associated with it and a compute engine and a knowledge base so that it can analyze the data that comes back from the net probes. And then you've got the active consoles, which give you the, the view, the visualization of what is actually happening within the Genius environment. Okay, so a, a short section on those two tools there. They basically just sit there monitoring the system and reporting back. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.